Gemini. Mm -mm. Gemini. Mm -mm. Gemini. <laughs> Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Um, hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> Please like, share this video, guys. Really, really appreciate it. As always said, this is a general reading. Please only take what you feel resonates for your situation at this point in time. All right? So uh, relax, catch a vibe, you know, catch a high, whatever you need to do, guys. Sit back and just let's get into it. Let's see what the freak is going on here. <laughs> Gemini, baby, staying out of trouble. <laughs> All right, so it's interesting because as soon as I cut the deck, guys, well... You got some freak that's losing it here, <laughs> okay? Uh, could be a Leo, somebody that's holding back. Remember, anything I'm saying could be uh, interchangeable, vice versa, okay? So uh, put yourself wherever you feel like you fit in. But somebody is losing it, Gemini. Um, this could be guilt, shame, regret, remorse. Um, I don't know if someone's been holding back for, uh, for what reason. We're going to get into it, right? But the strength is you're holding back here a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. And not only that, but there could be a little pride and ego in this holding back. So I guess we shall, we shall see. Someone could be looking at you as the empress, as their empress. All right, well, let's get into it. Gemini. <clears throat> yep, see, keep seeing um, Leo energy here. You guys could be in a recent separation. You got someone thinking about you a lot. Thinking about you a lot. You are literally all that's on their mind. Look at this. Eight of Swords. This freak is losing it. All right. <laughs> I'm hearing some of them could be in jail. They just can't stop thinking about you. Gemini. What's coming to Gemini in love? What do we have coming to Gemini in love? I hate when these things fall. Okay. What is coming to Gemini in love? Please, what do we have for Gemini in love? What is coming? Ooh. Well, Gemini, uh, oh, come on now. <laughs> what's coming to Gemini in love, spirit? What's in the energies? What's coming to Gemini in love, Gemini? Oh. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. The Magician, Two of Cups. Wow, what's coming to Gemini in love, Gemini? I feel like someone's so focused, Gemini, on you, um... There's, I feel like someone, they're starting to see things differently here, Gemini. They may have a new perspective. You could be con uh, connected to a Pisces who's coming to Gemini in love. We also have Virgo and uh, Gemini energy such as yourself. What is coming to Gemini in love? What is coming to Gemini in love? This could be someone that you work with, my love, Gemini, okay? Somebody that you work with. Someone that you know from work. I'm getting that some of them, they try to ignore you. Okay, this person has been trying to ignore you. Or they've been trying to just act like they don't care or whatever, but they really do. What's coming to Gemini in love, please? What is coming to Gemini in love, please? Well, Gemini, that's what it's about. You have judgment. Scorpio. So I definitely feel like the person you're connected to, Gemini, is surely a soulmate. And we keep getting the tower. You know, um, yeah, Scorpio energy here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person is definitely a soulmate. You do have a past life connection with them, Gemini. And I feel like someone in this situation is starting to see things differently. Um, and they're probably wanting to do things differently here, Gem. Okay. Now the eight of pentacles, this is someone who wants to fix things with you. Okay. This is what they're, what the energy is right now. Um, they want to try to mend things with you, uh, for relationships. This is someone who may want to step their game up here. I mean, the overall energy is stepping the game up. Okay. What's coming to Gemini in love? Let me get three more cards, spirit. Because they see you as an empress. You see, I was getting, um, wow. I was getting the empress earlier. Who's coming to Gemini in love? 
Yep. So it's going to be up to you, Gemini. Use your discernment. Use your wisdom. Some of you, maybe you have someone um, that you can talk to about this. You know, the Queen of Swords can be some kind of, um, it's like advisor, okay? So some of you, maybe this is someone that you were married to, okay? Um, this, someone wants to work on their relationship with you, point blank period, or their connection. Um, that's, I mean, it's a very simple message, Gem. All right, Taurus energy is strong here. Gem, um, Gemini is here. Scorpio energy is strongly here. Okay, um, and the magician talks about someone who's who, who, they want to do all that they can. I mean, they're going to do their best song and dance. And I have to say, Gemini, it's not a crappy dance, though. It's not. Usually I would say best song and crappy dance, but this person is doing a pretty good dance, Gemini. It's not crappy at all. Now, pay, uh, the judgment card being at the center, at the heart of the spread tells me this is all about making changes. This is all about feeling called to action, okay? Feeling called to reassess, right? To do things differently here, to make much needed changes. Someone is being called to make some changes here and this is what they wanna do. This is what they're going to do. And the tower tells me that this is something very shocking. And I'm hiring that for some of you, this had to fall apart in order for it to come together in the right way. Cause perhaps there was some kind of false foundation here. Okay, with the tower. So sometimes the tower, even though when it's happening, it feels, it doesn't feel good. But what is after the tower is the star card. So things are, it's like the, the tower happens to realign your path, right? To put you on the right path. So I feel like this is what this is all about, um, this reading. Now, I do feel like there are some shames, right? Some regrets here, as we were seeing, maybe some guilt um, that we were seeing in the beginning, Okay, tell me about this Eight of Coins for Gemini. Okay, oh, goodness. So this Eight of Coins, Gemini, represents diligence. It represents, um, you know, effort, hard work, consistency. These are all the things that this is, person wants to implement. Um, now, for some of you, maybe this freak was a little toxic. Maybe they were, um, and they want to work on that. Some of them, they've been getting therapy, okay? They've been working on themselves to be better for this connection. Um, this could be a Capricorn, okay? I'm hearing some of you, this freak could be in jail, and they're coming up with a plan while they're in jail, okay? Tell me about the magician, okay? We have the magician. Could be a Cancer, but the reason why they're doing this is all because this is what their heart is telling them to do. Okay, their dreams. Yes, they still have feelings for you. They still love you. They still care for you. Um, this is what they're being led to do. They're listening to their their heart. They're listening to their intuition. They're listening to the signs that they've been seeing. And this freak is very aware that you and them are soulmates. You guys do have a sacred bond here. Okay, for sure with this two of cups. Um, and this is why they're doing it. You guys have past life together for sure. Tell me about this hangman for Gemini. They're seeing things differently, okay? They've received the enlightenment that they needed to receive, okay? They're, uh, they got the biggest wake-up call, and now this freak wants to rock in the straight line. Um, <laughs> point blank period, Gemini. The tower is that major awakening. I mean, look at... I see the judgment as a wake-up call. That's how I see that card. Because you have the angel in the sky that's blowing the trumpet like, hello, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Can you hear me calling to you? <laughs> um, that's what it's about, Gemini. So it's going to be up to you. Um, we do have the Two of Swords here. This is some type of uh, decision to be made. Okay. Uh, you may feel find yourself conflicted for some of you, for some of you, um, especially, you know, depending on whatever history you have with each other. But um, I think this person really does truly, truly love you, Gemini. You have the King and the Queen of Cups in your spread. <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't just happen for any other reason other than you both are very in love with each other. Um, but there just needs some little some little attunement here, some little adjustments, right? And I do feel like this is someone who wants to marry you, Gemini, if you guys are not already. You know, they 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 really hold you in a high regard. I mean, when the Empress shows up, this is this is unconditional love, but this is nurturing, right? This is this is um physical love, sensual love. Um, this is also unconditional love. That's what that is, okay. The Hierophant talks about a card of commitment, okay? Um, you know, this person wants to do the right thing. They want to do the moral thing. They want to walk in a straight line. Some of them, they want to go to therapy and try to fix the relationship uh, or some crap like that. 
I feel like this is what this is what you would want, Gemini, but you're kind of conflicted as to if you're going to take it or not based on maybe how this person was to you in the past. For some of you, this freak was very mean, uh, very uh, critical, very bitter. Uh, maybe they um, uh, verbally abused you. They were just kind of a jerk, okay? Um, so you may not be very keen to just take this person back right away. You may want to see this freak... Um, may want to watch them walk their talk or something um but yeah judgment call the high priestess somebody is listening to their higher self their intuition spirit has been speaking to this person okay um and this is what it's all about gemini at this point in time my loves okay so now they just want to get on this boat and they want to move forward with the gemini okay point blank period so that's a beautiful beautiful energy absolutely positively now, the Queen of Swords is your discernment, okay? Use it. But I would say, Gemini, I mean, this freak does give the... <laughs> they do get the pretty stamp of approval. You know, I don't see anything wrong here, Gem. Um, you know, it's going to be totally up to you, Gemini, okay? With the Queen of Swords. See, the Queen of Swords, if you're not coming correct, off with your head, right? You get far away from me, you freak. <laughs> so the ball, they may leave the ball in your court. Or if it was you, Gemini, who may have been a little toxic or screwed up with this freak, um, you know, they're going to ponder on it for, for for a little bit, okay? They're like, you know, can I, should I forgive this? You know, should I reinvest into this? You know, should we, you know, and I feel like the answer is really going to be yes, okay? It is, Gemini. They are going to show you that how much they care about you, how much they love you. Uh, they're going to show you, not only tell you that, but they will show you, Okay? Now, I'm not really picking up a third-party energy, but if you are you are in a third party, unfortunately, this person could still be married, okay? I hate to say it. So let's get some information here. Um, I just got these cards. So I'm really excited using them, okay? What does Gemini need to know, angels, about this love situation? Gemini, please. Gemini, okay. Gemini, Spirit is saying that you need to use your intuition, okay? Um, this person probably was a red flag in the past, or they had some, you know, some demons. No one's perfect, okay? But you just have to listen to your intuition, okay? All right. What else do we have for Gemini in this love situation, Gemini? Well, I think this person genuinely has an interest in you know, um, doing things different. So you have date night, get ready to be wine and dine. Yeah. They're going to pull out all the, tr all, all the, you know, goodies out of the bag. <laughs> you have open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. You have divorce experiencing. So yeah. Some of you divorce could have been on the table. You know, if someone didn't change their behavior, whatever this was. Okay. Intimacy, sexual chemistry and reminiscing. What else do we have? So me, this freak may have had problems with gambling, addictions, bad finances. Now they want to get their life back on track before they lose this empress here. Okay? That's not what they want. So something has lit a fire under this person's behind. Okay? We have communication. Communicate, compromise, forgive, and work it out. This could be with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay? All right. I like it. I like it a lot, Gemini. I like it a lot, my loves. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Is there anything else important that we need to see here for Gemini? Okay. Once again, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> yep. Once again. Okay. We have the Fool. I think it's saying like as long as this freak comes correct, um, I mean, it looks like it should be fine, okay? As long as they, they take responsibility, they take accountability here, they're self-aware. I think I think it may be worth, you know, giving this freak a shot, Gemini, okay? Eight of Swords, but again, you know, it is up to you. It is up to you, Gemini. Point blank, period. Gemini, we have heartbroken, okay? So this freak is an emotional and nervous wreck. They're losing it. Especially if they didn't treat you too well, they're losing it. See, <laughs> I just told you this person's not sleeping. Insomnia and sleepless nights. They're going crazy. 
stuck and tied up in their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something's telling me the melatonin's not working, guys. Okay, something's telling me. Something's telling me the melatonin is, is, is they need a higher dose. Okay. Ooh, my nose is itching like crazy. That's usually a, a sign. Always itching me. All right. Let's see what else this person has to say. So this person says, I was wrong. This could be a cancer. I can't talk. A cancer. <laughs> uh, this person wants to be committed, right? They feel like you belong together. They want to love you better. What else for Gemini? Some of them, they their heart was really cold. They pushed you away. You know, they were just kind of a jerk watching your every move. Some of them, they were dramatic and unstable. So I'm hearing this is someone that you have kids with. They couldn't be vulnerable. And they know you're the best that they've ever had. Wow. Could be an Aquarius. They're getting tarot readings. <laughs> someone could be mad, but you also have I love you. Okay. Well, get ready for this, Gemini, okay? Well, get ready, baby. <laughs> get ready. I mean, this seems to be pretty shocking, though, you know? It seems to be pretty, pretty darn shocking. Shocking. You know, they, they've definitely received that wake-up call for sure, my love, okay? All right, Gemini, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gave you the clarity that you were looking for at this point in time. Um, if in the event you need something that is very specific to you, okay, tailored for you, I do offer personal readings. You can look in the description section and go to my website um, and buy any reading that you want, okay? Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.